This is a $3,000 gaming PC, a Ryzen X3D, a 4080, and high-speed DDR5 RAM. And this is what it really feels like after we tune it. This isn't about upgrading hardware, it's about unlocking what you already have. You've got a powerful system, but your games still stutter, your aim feels delayed, and nothing you've tried has worked. And it's not just you. Most high-end PCs, even brand new ones, are underperforming. The problem? BIOS settings, RAM configuration, and Windows defaults that were never tuned for gaming. Your system looks great on paper, but it's never been properly optimized. Let's start with what doesn't work, even though it's all over YouTube. Game boosters, .bat scripts, random config files, full screen optimization, optimizations, resize bar tweaks, power plant switching, none of this actually hits the root of the issue. These things don't touch the BIOS, they don't fix RAM stability, they don't clean up your driver stack, and they definitely don't reduce your system's interrupt delay. Here's what we actually change, and if you're comfortable, you can try some of these on your own. Into your BIOS by restarting and spamming delete or F2, then make the following changes. Disable C states by going to advanced, then CPU configuration, and setting global C state control to disable. Enable precision boost overdrive by going to AMD overclocking or the precision boost overdrive menu and set precision boost overdrive to enable. Turn on XMP slash DOCP by going to AI tweaker or extreme tweaker tab, enable XMP or DOCP. Then go to DRAM timing control and set bank group swap to swap APU. And this is only for AM5 users. So if you're on AM4, skip this. Then disable integrated graphics by going to advanced MB configuration or integrated graphics configuration and set integrated graphics or IGPU to disable. Disable TSME, which stands for Transparent Secure Memory Encryption, which is completely useless for gaming. So go to Advanced DRAM Configuration, scroll down to the bottom, set TSME to disable. Once all of these are done, press F10 to save and exit BIOS. These BIOS settings alone fix most of the bottlenecks we see, especially for frame time consistency, memory latency, and input responsiveness. Here are some Windows tweaks that actually help. First, we're going to turn off Xbox Game Bar. Go to Settings, then System, then scroll down and find System Components. Click the three dots right next to game bar and click advanced options set background component permissions to never then we're going to enable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling search graphic settings and toggle on hardware accelerated gpu scheduling then go to settings apps startup disable rgb apps razor synapse msi center asus armory crate etc then we're going to disable unnecessary telemetry and background services in windows press your windows key in r type services.msc we're going to disable the following by right clicking on each one clicking properties and setting the startup type to disable. So first, disable sysmain, disable diac track, and disable connected user experiences. Then we're going to disable unused high latency devices and device manager. Search device manager in Windows search, expand network adapters, and right click an unused onboard Wi-Fi controller and click disable device. None of this is risky, but it is time consuming. And that's exactly why most people never do it. Here's the real problem. Windows isn't built for competitive performance. It's built for power saving and workflow multitasking. That's why it parks CPU cores. That's why it runs over 50 hidden services. And that's why it schedules your mouse input the same way it schedules Windows updates. We disable all of that so your system finally starts acting like the hardware you paid for. Here's a real client example. A Ryzen 7 9800X 3D, an RTX 4070 Super, 32 gigabytes DDR5 at 6000 megahertz. He was already getting 740 FPS in Fortnite, but it still didn't feel right. After tuning his BIOS, memory, drivers, and Windows, he was hitting over a thousand fps no hardware upgrades just proper configuration same pc same fps but before optimization mouse input felt floaty after tuning snappy aim reduced click to fire delay no more frame time stutters this is what smooth actually means and it's not something you can fake with configuration files do you lose anything we wipe the C drive and reinstall Windows, but your other drives stay untouched. Is it risky? Not at all. Everything is done live, by hand, with you on the call. No scripts or automation. What if it doesn't help? You get your money back, no questions asked. We've done thousands of these. You don't need to upgrade your parts, you need them tuned. We've helped thousands of gamers unlock the performance they already paid for, BIOS to operating system, done right. If you're tired of guessing and you just want it fixed, book your session now, asley.net. Your hardware is not the problem, the defaults are.